What's up guys? What's he taking here with the top five Mac utility applications for early 2015? Now these are all in random order, so I'm not doing anything from my least favorite to favorite or favorite to least favorite. Um, these are all in random order because they're equally as good and these are apps that I usually use on a day-to-day -day basis. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Number five is an app called Caffeine. Uh, caffeine basically does not let your Mac go to sleep and that's all it does, like literally, quite literally. Um, you can change how long um, you want it to stay on. It can range from five minutes to 35 minutes or even longer. Um, you can also keep it on forever. So for example, if you're downloading a hefty file that has OS 10 Yosemite, which is about five gigabytes, it could take overnight. And during that process, you don't want your Mac to go to sleep. And that's why you would use caffeine, uh, that's where it comes in, and it will keep your Mac alive, and it will keep it from sleeping or hibernating uh, throughout the duration of the download. Coming on number four is an app called Disk Inventory X. Um, what this app allows you to do is uh, search your Mac for files that are taking up a huge amount of space, quite similar to Daisy Disk. But I find it to be better since it's free, and though it may not have the best user interface ever, it works. I freed up about 30 gigabytes of space on my Mac. Um, I also made a video on it. Um, you can click over here or it's in the link in the description. Um, so I made a video on that uh, and uh, you guys can check that out also. It's an awesome app and it really lets you free up some space. Just be careful while deleting files um, because you may delete some important files that, um, that your computer needs. All right, number three, we have an app called Alfred. Alfred is basically a beefed up put on steroids spotlight. Yes, Apple has put their own spotlight uh, on steroids in OS 10 Yosemite, but not everybody has upgraded to that software. So that's where Alfred comes in for OS 10 Mavericks users and lower, uh, because it really beefs up your spotlight. It actually replaces your spotlight because it lets you search um, the web for things, and um, it has awesome quick app opening, so you can just press enter, app opens, um, and with the power pack, which you pay about uh, $15 for, if I'm not mis mistaken, um, you pay a few extra bucks for that, and what you get with that is basically in-app control. So you press command space, it'll give you that search bar, you can search screen flow, record, and it'll start recording. Screen flow will start recording, and that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure the exact command for that, but it's pretty awesome, and it's really, really helpful, so I recommend that. Coming in at number two is an app called Memory Clean. I use this all the time. Like, it's literally there when I power up my Mac. It's awesome because it really lets you clean your memory. So, for example, when you're using Premiere Pro After Effects and you're doing something in Final Cut, let's say, <laughs> which rarely happens, you have multiple apps open and you check your memory and you're all like, ooh, eight megabytes. And to clean that memory, you just press clean memory and you clean the memory super fast and super quick and there we go, you have more memory. Um, not that you have more memory as in memory stick, you just have more free space um, on your memory to prevent it from spilling onto your SSD or your hard disk drive, whatever you use for storage. Coming in at number one, something I use on a day-to-day -day basis, it's literally there again uh, when I boot up my Mac. Uh, and this is an app called Bartender. Now, what Bartender does is it cleans up your menu bar and it helps a ton. It basically puts an icon in your menu bar, which basically holds uh, your menu bar. And no, not everything disappears, so you can take a quick glance at a time. At the time, um, you can change what's in the menu bar, what's completely hidden, and what's in the Bartender bar. Um, it's, it's really quite awesome. I use it all the time because my menu bar is so cluttered and it's quite an awesome app. So guys, that wraps up uh, the top five Mac utility applications for early 2015. Please like the video, share this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.